Aha. No, I don't want another one. Hey guys, what's going on? I'm also realizing now that this uh, lighting setup is not sustainable. How's that? That's pretty good. Did anyone make it here from the Discord? Or was it more, um, was it more uh, YouTube notifications? So right now we're doing some sewing. Let's see if I can angle this just a little down. Mess this up too much. I think we're good. All right. Um, where did I put that piece? Okay, so. Yeah, powder. Nice. So what we did before is we stitched up. Uh, let's see what I. This is this is this setup is a little unfamiliar to me right now. Um, it's not on my normal desk, but this is the heel counter. And what we just did is we stitched it in right there. So we're gonna do one more thing of stitching, which this still isn't gonna work. Let's see if I can, how much battery do we have left? Oh, we are currently running a little low. Uh, here's what we're gonna try and do. Hey, that's better. Okay, uh, I'm gonna let this battery charge for just a little bit. Going to try to adjust the view here. All right. Neat. Unfortunately, this is not as uh, as soft of a light. That's the one that I was previously using. Uh, it's a little bit harsh, but it's okay. Hey, warm dog. What's going on? Ooh, maybe I shouldn't be... Uh... I guess we'll see. Well, glad that the YouTube notification worked. Uh, probably just went out to all, you know, 500, however many subscribers, so... It's probably already tired of hearing from uh, good old copper foil. So this is the top portion of the boot. And I'm just stitching along the top line to make sure it doesn't separate from the lining. So the upper doesn't separate from the lining right now. So. Hey, sounds bad. Not the really, got it. I love that my sewing machine has a uh, reverse bar. It is really great. I'm starting to learn to sew just a little faster because uh, I did indeed have it on the, just the very lowest setting. So we're doing, we're putting uh, two rows of stitches in right here. So it's still taking me a little bit to get used to a sewing machine because uh, it's something I've, I've never done before. So 
What kind of sewing machine is it? Uh, it is a Cobra 5110. <coughs> like the angle? Awesome. Hoping that I can get the light a little better because I had to uh, had to abandon the uh, little portable light that I made a lot softer with some paper uh, for this. So even though I did a uh, back stitch on there, but what I'm going to do is I'm still going to, I'm going to snip it off and burn the ends just so there's no chance of it coming undone. So what we did today mostly was uh, we attached this counter. Uh, it's called a heel counter. This is the part that's going to rub up against your heel right there. So if you can imagine, this is the shaft of the boot right there. And uh, this is the portion that your heel kind of sits in like that. So we stitched it on. Uh, it's shaped already how we want it to be. And I have to do a little skiving right there on that edge. Ooh, yeah, that'll be a good thing that we can do. Um, so I'm just going to burn the ends. I need to get this. It doesn't matter because this is a test shoe, but uh, I am going to get a different lighter for that because that's uh, uh, just a little bit overkill. How much faster would you estimate a test boot versus a final boot? Uh, so all this time that I spent on this one was the last, um, getting the last work, measuring my feet, uh, patterning, getting the patterns together, learning about how to do it. Uh, Cause I've never done, done a uh, cowboy boot like this. Uh, it's going to go pretty quick. We're, we're basically just going to cut the patterns and get right back to where we are right now. So uh, I think it's going to go pretty darn fast. Oh, that's funny. Uh, let's see. Uh, so you can kind of see it. So see that blue line right there? Well, it's, uh, it erases with heat, and when I singed that, it kind of erased the line a little bit, which is fine, because I still see most of it. Uh, I just thought that was funny. So I use the hand wheel to, do the, to start the first stitch and place it exactly where I want it. Got the first stitch placed, and then what I do is I grab the bottom or the upper and lower thread, uh, and I kind of pin it just real quick against the uh, post bed, and then I'll do three, two, one stitches, and then I'll use the reverse lever, and then, uh, it's called back stitching, and then we're just going to go along this line that I had made, nice and easy. This would be one of the situations where I can just fly through it if I increase the motor speed. Uh, I'm still really trying to get used to the sewing machine and learning how to sew better. Obviously this is a straight line, so it's really easy, but there's some more complicated patterns where I'd, uh, you know, I'd really like to go slow. I'll see if there's any more sewing we have to do after this. I don't think there is. So what we'll do is we'll go back to my desk and reverse. All right. Go back to my desk. Uh, we do have some sewing, but we have a couple more things to do before we get back to that point. Who's not here from the Discord? I imagine that just about everyone else is here from the Discord. Who is not from the Discord? I'm really curious to know. All right. That looks pretty good. I 
Let me just look over over on my desk to see if there's a hey world is met. I'm doing complicated patterns for the test boot. Um, yeah, we kind of did a little bit of a complicated pattern here with the toe bug. It's a little complicated. Not from the Discord. Cool. Hello, Shawnium. How's it going, man? Once we get back to my desk, I don't have to look. I won't have to look at my. Uh, I won't have to look at my phone anymore. I can just have it up there. Let me see if there's any more sewing we can do. Um, I don't think so. So what we'll do is I'm going to put the cap, the lens cap back on. I'm going to take you back over. Take you back over here. I have so because th this uh, is filmed in a different uh, at a different angle. I have no idea what this is going to look like, what angle we're going to be at. So it's all going to be uh, brand new. So All right, let me just grab the battery real quick. Just subbed. Hey, thanks, Michael. I appreciate that. Very nice of you. All right, let me get this back into focus. Maybe we'll do uh, we'll do autofocus for the for just a little bit. How much battery do we have? Um, that charged a little bit. Oh, great! This looks good, actually. Oh man, I should stream on YouTube more often. Well, shoot. So what we did earlier, uh, we did these straps. And so there, there what's going to be the, the pull strap there. So we stitched two lines. It's a really thick strap there. It's got a, uh, it's got a ribbon in it. Uh, not a ribbon. It's a, uh, I don't know how else to describe it. Here I have it. It's this kind of cording. Not cording, but that kind of material. Good stuff. All right. So we did that. Uh, we did some side welt as well, uh, which was just skiving a piece of leather, very thin. And then we take really thick thread. We put it in the middle there like that. So it makes a nice, nice little beaded piece of leather there. So that's great. Um, Boy, I sure wish I had cleaned up a little bit. Oh, I have the solution. <laughs> Ta-da, now there's no more mess. Nah, not really. My little cart is uh, still very messy. Got all my rags here, because just need a rag. Okay, so I think we're gonna do some skiving real quick. So clean. Wow, thanks. So clean. Try and put some of this away. Where's the car from? It's from Ikea. It's good stuff. Uh, let me just look at how far I need to skive this. I want it to be about one eighth inch thick. That's oh, pretty thick.
do this on the, okay, so this is the grain side right here, and this is the flesh side. So we've got a sky buff of the flesh side right here. Uh, it's gonna be about an inch thick skive to about one eighth inch at the edge. All right, perfect. Let's do that. This wide angle is great. Looks really nice and everything too. Uh, this is when I'm gonna go off of autofocus though. Do some manual focusing. So if I'm doing a skive, so if it's a one inch wide skive, it's gonna be like that. So what I like to do is I like to use my uh, wing divider, I like to measure out an inch. Exactly, and then I clamp it down. Wow, that is a really wide sky. So now I have an exactly uh, one inch wide line there. And then sometimes I'll just come in, just color it in a little bit. You guys didn't see, I redid my strop. Nope, that's the wrong side. I redid my strop, so it should be a lot better now. Wow, a whole inch wide sky. That is a lot of sky to do. No, not a huge amount, but yeah, okay. Yeah, this is going pretty easy. So we're taking it down to eighth of an inch. So what have you guys been up to tonight? I was streaming on Reddit for a while, but I was like, you know what? I'll try YouTube. Oh, can someone post the uh can someone post this link to the stream in the uh in the Discord please? All for a minute. Nice. Homework, that's a bummer. Sorry, dude.
A lot of other shoemakers sky really, really differently than I do. Well, maybe not a lot, but um, no, that's probably not true. This is I like to pull skive, but a lot of people like to push skive, which you'd have a handle on it and it'd be a different blade and you push instead of pull. How do I already did? All right, nice. Playing some board games on the patio. Nice. You guys decide on a uh, color. I think we're almost there. Ganoli. Going for the most neutral of the peaches. Ah, yes. The most neutral of the peaches. Hey, Tang, what's going on? Hey, Alien, what's going on? Oh, my gosh. It's a party now because Alien's here. Alien has been cranking out some awesome Discord emotes. If you guys want to join the Discord, uh, send me a DM either here or on Reddit, Instagram. So what I'm trying to do... Get that edge to be about an eighth of an inch. This is an eighth of an inch, so it should fit within there. It's a little thick in one area still, so we'll uh, we'll we'll scab that down just a little more. Nice Discord community. Yeah. <laughs> Try not to scive too much because uh, there's stitching here, and I don't want to cut that. But I can I can tell that it's still very thick right in that area. I think I do have to scive it just a little. I think that actually that'll work out okay. Hey Nova, what's going on? You made an oof emote so you're sure. Is it the one with my hand going through my face? That's always a great one. right there but uh, uh that's gonna have to be okay which boot is this one uh this is the fourth boot it is a different one oh yeah hang on i'm gonna check this out uh, this is the fourth boot it's a western boot
Oh, alien got me. <laughs> so funny. I got got by alien. Feels bad, man. All right, now we're going to do another one inch skive. Nova, what have you been uh, working on on Minecraft? Just realize there's no music. Yeah. So I can't do it on, uh, so I do some like royalty free stuff. I should probably stay away from the musics. What if I did like classical music? Some of that's cre Creative Commons. Oh, that'd be a real that'd be a really fun theme to do. It's like, like a in front of the fire kind of night, <laughs> playing classical music. Come join Copperfoil Foil for a fireplace chat, fireside chat. Give me some weird noise music. Nice. <clears throat> Beethoven will suit here. Do some lo-fi. Nice. It would come from my speaker zone. I don't know how that would sound. PvP stuff. Nice. I don't think I've ever done PvP stuff on Minecraft. Let me see if I can do a... Oh, come on. I wish to type on the keyboard. Nah, I'm not... You have to do all the licensing crap, and even though it's Creative Commons, I, I still think you have to put that it's Creative Commons license. Is YouTube will just, will just flag it or something? You don't play Minecraft? Hey, at least I'm not addicted to Minecraft, alien. Is another Star Wars joke? No, there's, yeah, there's someone else in Discord named Luke. Of course, this Luke must be. Every time you see Luke, it must be the, that Luke. Go away, mouse. Dick Starbound. <laughs> I, 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 speaking of Luke, uh, I've, I've seen Luke streaming that and everyone else playing it. Nice. Ever since we started saying, nice medieval, uh, <laughs> I've been saying it so much. It's like a tick that I need to get rid of. <laughs> Zach would be so sad. He's missing so much strop in. Safe zone. All right, cool. Good to see you, Mr. Safe Zone, sir. I wonder if I can do like Omega close up.
Hey, what's the delay on this stream? Because I have a feeling it's very low compared to Reddit. So here, I'm gonna t I'm gonna say now, and you tell me when you hear it. So now. That's pretty good. All right. Put a link to some copyright free lo-fi. So how how will that work while I'm streaming? Is it going to be flagged once it gets put up? So I shouldn't be taken down if they're fast enough. Well, it shouldn't if it's copyright free music, you'd think. That's pretty good. Go on Discord and tell us to sing free music. There you go. Use the jet desk so I don't scratch the glass. So when I'm skiving, um, I use it so it's because I'm cutting I'm cutting a corner like that at a at a pretty acute angle. So I use the glass because it slides nicely across it. Whereas this, see, I dig a. Let me see if I can focus it in on that. Not if you can see, but you actually end up digging a, a line in there and it sticks. Whereas this, it's it kind of slides and I have a little more freedom. Also got a new rasp. This is the same company as the custom rasp, but I think I might actually like this one better. It's hand stitched, so all these little points are done by hand. Let's see if I can get a cool view of it. Not really. Do I use OBS to stream? Yeah, normally I use OBS on um, when I'm streaming from Reddit. And I need to figure out how to do that from here. Uh, but for now, I'm just, uh, I'm just streaming using the uh, YouTube suite. What does the rasp do? Uh, it, it's like a file and it, uh, it smooths out everything in there. Hang on, let me... Uh...
Yeah, I'm going to have to figure this out another time. What kind of stuff I can play and can't play. have any questions or anything about anything shoes whatever please feel free to ask Probably just coincidence. <laughs> Am I still playing Doom? Uh, I need. I mean, I haven't played any video games in forever. I need to finish Doom still. So technically, yes, I am still playing Doom. <laughs> You guys can see more of the room now. You can see my King Gizzard uh, shirt over there and the sewing machine back there. Shoot the next time I play, I will. Oh, we're gonna go back to close up. self-taught sewer. Uh, my mom does a lot of sewing. I'm sure I picked up a bunch of stuff from her. Definitely a lot of trial and error. Hey, Medieval, what's going on? So that'll be the top of the boot there. <laughs> Sailor Moon High. Take a bell. Good roast. So eventually we're going to be attaching that. Wow, and there needs to be three lines of stitching. Uh oh. Well, I can see where I've screwed something up a little bit. 
uh, because I was not supposed to, uh, I'm supposed to be, you, well, I might be able to use the old pattern for that actually. Yeah, okay, we can make this work. Because if you look, um, see if I can get a good angle of that. See where this is supposed to be? Uh, this corner kind of ends right there. Well, see how I skived it away? I'll show that again. That corner is supposed to end there with the upper leather. I skived it away. Yeah. They were out of tortillas? What? Well, I guess that's what happens when you eat at a lovely establishment like Taco Bell. So what I'm gonna do is just like, I'm just gonna trace this line back in. And then we need a line that is five eighths of an inch above that. We get Del Taco at Capricorn. No, we're gonna eat good food at Capricorn. Hey, once we once once this is all over, we're gonna do Copper Con and it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be the premier event of the millennia. Uh, no, I don't do any burnishing with the uh, cop uh, copper. Chrome tan leather doesn't burnish. Only uh, veg tan le leather does. Yep, all 16 of you guys. 17 now. What's up? In Casa Bonita. Oh. <laughs> Carly, what's going on? Uh, I am very well, thank you. Hope you're doing well too. Yeah, because what you're supposed to do is a 5 8 inch line above this heel draft. Hmm. 
Okay. So we need to rough this up here. That's not going to look very nice, is it? I'll show you why, because I, I cut a nice clean edge on it. Uh, so it's no longer going to have that. Yeah, it's like all these fuzzies sticking over. It works better on weather that's not like this, but you should be able just to go over and just hit all the edges and you just get rid of the fuzzies. It, it works better on leather that's not rough out. Okay, no problem. Wow, we got 20 people. I wonder if it's possible, like if it's possible for this stream to reach people that are outside of my uh, subscriber ring, community, whatever. Don't want a repeat of what happened with the uh, the other piece on the sewing machine. <coughs> See a sunspot. I really like this view that we've got going on right here. I wish I could get this kind of view on uh, on Reddit, actually. I know I can. I mean, I know I can just shift the camera, turn the camera 180. But, uh... People, uh, either, either I, oh, shoot. Oh. I was supposed to rough this up a little bit. But anyway, people would either be viewing it um, on, like, if this is the, well, if this is the length of the screen, they'd be viewing it like this, or they'd have to turn their phones or something. I don't know. And then comments would be weird and it just wouldn't work. You see the close up of the glue dispenser thingy? Yeah. Oh no, he coughed. I'm fine. Need to get some thinner or uh, 
some more glue. <laughs> Neat indeed. We're going to wait for this to be tack free. Yeah, I, I really like this angle. Wow, that's uh that's laid in almost perfectly. We have three layers of stitch or three rows of stitching. That's going to be a lot. Also did that crooked. See the, see the line here? And then see the line that way? Did that uh, very crooked there. Just recorded a tutorial on how to stop streaming for YouTube. Oh, neat, through, through OBS? That's awesome. The, the problem that I find myself having with OBS right now is that uh, I use the RPAN version of OBS. Uh, our pan studio and it seems to only like you having one version of obs installed all right i'm gonna hammer for a sec so uh bear with me would help me to do like drawing some stitching lines or something. That is faced the wrong way. Um, the last thing that we're going to do before I head out, 
we're going to do the last uh, little bit of side weld. That's an easy one, uh, wherever it is. So this goes on the side of the boot where the uh, top panels meet, the front and the back meet. Uh, it'll make sense in a sec. I'll show you kind of a picture of it from uh, D.W. Frummer's book. It's you can see it on the cover of his book in one of the in the boot that he has on there. So you see uh, this right here, where the two halves meet, that is the side weld. That's what we're making. So once this is tack free, So when you have a welt that's this wide, you don't have any margin for error when you sew it in. Uh, so you have to get it just exactly right. Um, let me see if I can. Yeah, there we go. That's pretty good. So I really got to try hard to get those sides to meet up perfectly.
Oops, that was not exact. All right. Now we need the, okay. Yeah, I guess I just tossed it away somewhere. Ah, the bone folder. So now I'm just gonna make sure it's not uh, under any tension by, I'm gonna hold this side down and pull. So it's, it's basically straight. Oops. There we go. Just pay me the video. Okay, thank you, perfect. So I'm just gonna trim a little bit off of that side. And what we're gonna do is we need the two sides to stick together. See how I'm kind of... I'm mashing the two pieces together where the string, before where the string is, or up to where the string is, I suppose. Thank you, Nova. I'm going to watch that. If you know any way around having only one version of OBS, let me know. Or if I can just live stream to YouTube with the Reddit version of OBS, that'd be cool too. All right, now we're just gonna do the other side and then we're good. And then I'm gonna end the stream. And uh, it's been a very productive stream. Yeah. Do we zoom this? Yep. Where's the other good piece? All right, we have two, um, wait, which piece is this? There it is. We have two good pieces of side belt now. What purpose does the inner string serve? So if I just folded it, just for reference, it would end up looking, uh, let me see if I can get a good view of it. It would just end up really flat. But when you stitch this in, uh, like it would just be a really narrow profile here. So it gives it some body. So what's gonna happen is when we stitch it, we're gonna stitch it right along 
uh, or stitch it right along this line right there. And so it'll kind of give a little uh, piping effect. Hello, Nicholas. Unfortunately, we're, I'm, I'm literally just about to end the stream. I'm sorry, man. But hey, you can go. You, you can go back and watch it from the beginning. What's crazy is I don't think YouTube counts uh, live stream view hours towards total view hours, which is so weird. All right, you guys take it easy. Hang on. There we go. All right, you guys have a good night. Uh, thanks for watching on Reddit and thanks for watching here on YouTube. If you wanna join the Discord, if you're not already a member of the Discord, DM me here or on Reddit, Coppery Foil. Check out my Instagram. Um, I really do appreciate you guys watching. It's been a good stream. Very, very productive. Uh, so good to hang out with you guys. I'm um, looking forward to seeing you guys another time. Bye.